South Korea has maintained local infections under 100 for three straight days, but the death toll has been going up. Elderly people make up a large proportion. According to our Am Ji-young, concerns are rising as seniors have higher chances of becoming critically ill. The number of new COVID-19 cases in South Korea is on a downward trend. South Korea reported 106 new infections on Tuesday, keeping its daily total below 200 for 13 straight days. 91 of Tuesday's cases were local transmissions, the third day in a row that local infections have been in double digits. The majority of local infections came from the capital area on Tuesday, with Seoul seeing 32 cases and Gyeonggi-do province seeing 31 cases. In Seoul, two more people related to the mass rally held on Independence Day on August 15th have been confirmed positive, bringing the total related cases to 581. Also, three more people in connection to Yonsei Severance Hospital in western Seoul have tested positive, bringing the total cases related to the hospital to 32. The number of cases in the capital area is on a downward trend. The situation has improved compared to last month, but we urge citizens to keep in mind that whenever social distancing has been eased, the nightmare of the surge in COVID-19 cases has kicked in. Despite the positive news, the government is concerned because new deaths have been seen almost every day since mid-August. The total death toll on Tuesday was 367, and of them, 344 people, or about 94 percent, were over the age of 60. 158 patients are critically ill, and 137, or 86.7 percent of them, are over 60. The government urged those over 60 to refrain from going out as they have a higher chance of being critically ill due to underlying diseases once they contract the virus. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.